We're hearing a lot of buzz lately about the lawsuit filed by the Massachusetts Attorney General, Martha Coakley, against the major services throughout the country. Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, GMAC, Wells Fargo, and she also sued MERS, which is the mortgage electronic registration system that those services use. First of all, we'd like to applaud Attorney Coakley for filing this lawsuit. It's, we've spent a long time waiting for us private lawyers to see a state attorney general step up to the plate and take on the lenders. Many of the issues highlighted in our lawsuit, which we'll discuss in a second, we've been seeing for years um, how services have not complied with the foreclosure laws, have basically run roughshod over the loan modification process, which has actually led to more foreclosures. Now, this video is to explain just briefly to consumers and borrowers what that lawsuit is about and why it's so important. She basically makes three common allegations in that case. First is that the servicers foreclosed before they had the legal right to do so. Now that is very simply the case where the servicers who instituted or started the foreclosures did not have the legal right to do so. They did not hold assignments of the mortgage to start or initiate the foreclosure process and therefore they violated the statutes which are the laws in Massachusetts on foreclosure. Now the second part of the lawsuit deals with what we heard a lot about in the news called the robo assignment. That is where they were required to file an affidavit verifying that they took certain steps in compliance with the statutes of Massachusetts. And we know from a lot of news reports, a lot of reported cases, that robo-signing occurred. Robo-signing involved uh, people, employees of services, who did not have knowledge about the files, signing those foreclosure documents in serial fashion without reviewing the documents, and also foregoing or bypassing the required notary requirements. Those are the two major issues concerned with robo-signing. And then using those documents to complete or process foreclosures. The third major component of her lawsuit is an attack on the loan modification process. Basically, the lawsuit indicates that the uh, services have had a very low um, permanent loan modification rate, and actually the loan modification procedures and process processes that they have used have actually resulted in some foreclosures. For example, by making statements that borrowers have to be three payments behind before they can initiate a loan modification when in fact that's not true under the program. So what would happen in circumstances like that, the borrower would be in arrears and if the loan modification was denied, the lender or servicer would ask for a large sum of money for them to become current, which was impossible, therefore leading to a foreclosure. Those are the three major components of Attorney Coakley's lawsuit. And like I said at the beginning, we applaud that lawsuit. You can find the lawsuit um, online on our website. We've also uh, drafted up a blog that explains what we have in this video. So we encourage you to take a look at that lawsuit, pass it around, move it around the internet, and so uh, consumers and borrowers can see what Attorney Coakley has done here in Massachusetts.